got really good for me, got great reviews. And it was a good folk and blues scene. I did shows at the Hunter Club with Arthur Big Boy Cruda and with uh, Homesick Teams and the Dusters and Larry Johnson and the great British Queen of the Blues, Joanne Kelly, the greatest acoustic blues lady that uh, all you gotta do is ask Bonnie or Rory. Got, uh, got Joanne. She was a great lady, put me up in her spare room for six months and uh, introduced me to all the people, the right people, and I had an agent over there and what have you. It's a good, uh, good start. I came home with all kinds of reviews. I got a record deal with Adelphi Records. The record's still in print. On a CD now, they rewrote the contract. And now they made a whole money finally. <laughs> Nobody gets into this to make money, but yeah, it helps. <laughs> but we're doing okay. I did about 50 cities this year, and we'll be home for the winter. And I got three shows in Florida in December, a couple in February, March. So. It's all right. Let's see. Could have worse. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. I wrote that song because I was always saying it, and my wife used to get annoyed with me. And I come over the road and she said, No, we're going to go to Sally and Bob's house for, for that old party. I said, okay, you know, and I went to the party. And then we came home and she said, Well, uh, that was a nice job, wasn't it? I said, it could have been worse. He said, it's so negative. <laughs> and then I needed one more song to finish that album. And I it could have been worse driving to the studio. So he said, all right. And it was the one that got all the airplay. So uh, actually, she now doesn't mind me saying it, because I was the air we paved to drive <laughs> On the first day album, Brevin Davis uh, tried to remember this song about Delia. Delia was a gambling girl. Uh, there's so, all kinds of people recorded a Delia song. Uh, even Johnny Cash at the end of his career did Delia's Gone, which was, uh, there was a guy in the Bahamas named Blind Blake, but it wasn't Blind Blake from here, it was a finger picking guy. And uh, he, he used to do Delia's Gone, an up tempo little number of the banjo and a Bahamian band. And Johnny Cash recorded it, got a full Grammy. And then uh, Dave Alvin and the Blasters recorded it, and uh, one of them got the folk Grammy. And then uh, Bob Dylan had on one of his uh, underground things. He did kind of Gary Davis's version. Stephen Grossman really put together and made presentable because Gary didn't remember much of it. And uh, I recorded this like in 1970, so I think everybody learned from my record, but the folk Grammy. <laughs> It's on my first album, then I put it on my live album, Live from the Fur Peach Ranch, which is down the road of Fur Peach. <laughs> I call it Yorma Land. That's in Ohio. A great place if you want to have a, a nice vacation and hang out and have lunch with uh, Yorma. <laughs> and you get to hang out. We had, they had a student concert all, all on a Sunday afternoon, about three hours, and everybody can play. And Yorma will back them up. Or, I'll do something with you. It's a good time. I've been teaching there since the first year. Somebody sent me a doctoral thesis. Some folk artist uh, said that oh, this incident happened in Savannah that Delia got murdered. She was a good time girl, young girl. It said me like 25 pages and I couldn't even finish it. And I, I said, I don't need to know all this. I threw it in the trash. He's a doctorate now. I've got a doctorate on it. My Willie McTell recorded this song in Kia D. Same story, different melody. Back in 71, when my first album came out on Adelphi, David Brumberg's first album came out on Columbia and he did this song. He did the Blind with the Big Tail version, and I did that Jerry Davis version. David's, uh, he's out there on the road again. He's a cool cat. He was a uh, protege of Marilyn Davis as well. Silly if you lived in New York in the 60s, not to go over there and get a couple of $5 lessons. Gillian was a gambler.
Why didn't you run? Cuddy Cook chasing after you with that big 44 6 gun. Thank you. 